place where special people came and offered sacrifices at special times. Everyone, this is Tank. He helps me not miss the amazing wonder the Bible tells about. <laughs> and he's right. The temple was very special and unlike any other temple. In fact, God told his people that he didn't want any pictures or statues of himself in this temple. Because nothing in creation could represent God who created everything. <laughs> Birds, trees, rainbows, food. Yep, everything. Anyway, special people called priests worked at the temple, but only one, the high priest, was allowed to go to the center of the temple where it was especially holy. The holy of holies. The temple was right for that time, but certain messengers of God, called prophets, talked about how the temple would be rebuilt one day. So let's fast forward a bit to Jesus's lifetime. <laughs> Boom, Jesus' lifetime. Uh, thanks. So, the king at this time, Herod, who was wicked and jealous, decided he would rebuild the temple. It took him forever, I mean decades, and it cost a ridiculous amount of money. It became twice as big and it was very impressive, but when Jesus and his disciples visited the temple, Jesus told them this place wouldn't last. He knew it was gonna crumble because he's the son of God and he knows what's up. But the disciples couldn't believe what Jesus was saying because this was such a special place. But a while after Jesus returned to heaven, the temple was destroyed. It must have felt like the end of the world to many people. But not to everyone. That's right. One of Jesus' followers named Peter. Which means rock. Remembered the words Jesus had said about the temple. So Peter wrote a letter where he said that people who come to Jesus. He's talking about us. We are the building blocks of a new kind of temple. Instead of bricks, he's using us. Wow. That is amazing, Tank. God doesn't need that old temple anymore because Christians are a part of a new house for worship that the Holy Spirit can fill up. And we don't need a high priest to talk to God for us anymore because we get to talk to God ourselves. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Settle down, Lucy. I get excited too. <laughs> we know we belong to God so we can worship Him and praise Him for all His mercy. Which means we get to represent God to the whole world. Oh yeah. We can help others know about who God is through how we worship Him, how we praise Him, and by the way we live our lives. Woo! I'm a child of God so my life can tell of God's wonders. <laughs> Mine too, Tank. That's a super yeah responsibility. And awesome. We've had so much fun learning with you. Don't forget, God's wonder is everywhere. Be wonderful.